Dave Porter coming to you live direct from the Gracie Gym with the one and only Benson Henderson. Man, how you feeling, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. Just got done doing a, a little workout, a little uh, meet and greet session with some of the veterans of our military. And anytime I'm able to, to get a chance to do that, that's something that's uh, fulfilling to the soul to do that. Okay, tell us about uh, the, the, um, this event, man, the MVP event. Uh, the MVP event was, uh, you know, military meeting the, the fighters, athletes, and hearing their story, being able to connect, touch with some of the, the veterans who have been out of the military and have a hard time with, uh, you know, life outside of the military. Okay. Life outside of, you know, being the superheroes when they, when they have a uniform on and then they can take the uniforms off and they don't feel the same. It's like they're not your superheroes anymore. Okay. For us, we're, we're telling them, hey, no, no, no. Just because you take the uniform off doesn't mean you're not a superhero anymore. Like the, the heart that made you a superhero is still there. Yeah, it's, not, it's, not just, it's not just the uniform that you wore, you know? Uh, so I think a lot of military guys have a hard time with that. Yeah. From hearing their stories, some you know pretty pretty wild stories, some pretty gnarly stuff, you know? Yeah. Uh, being able to connect with them, um, I, I think it's big. Not, not only support the support guys in the military, but when they search when they come home, yeah. they need probably that much more support. Okay. Now this Saturday, you got a huge fight on your hands. Yes, what, are your thoughts, what are your thoughts against your opponent? Uh, Mr. Saeed Awad is a tough guy, tough game opponent, true veteran of the sport. Been around a long time, he's on like a 4-5 five, 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 like knockout wing streak or something like that. So it'll be a tough fight, it'll be fun. Yeah, I'm gonna go in there and uh, go do my thing, make sure I leave the cage with my hand raised. How important is the uh, pull a victory out of this for you in your career? I think it's super important. Uh, for this stage of my career where I'm at, every fight I, I have to win. But then again, same thing for the beginning of your career. If you lose a fight early on, that's not good either. So, at all point in times, you always need to win. For me, uh, ending my career, I need, I need wins. I need mm -hmm. wins. I need impressive performances. I need stoppages. I need knockouts. I need uh, submissions. Uh, so I think for me, it's, uh, it's a big fight. It's a big fight. Okay. Now, you know, being that you are the unified, well, the former unified lightweight champion on Strike Force and on UFC, what were your thoughts on this past Saturday's fight with Khabib and McGregor? <laughs> uh, I, I, mean, I didn't watch the fight. Uh, I was able to, to look up on, uh, on uh, online, watch like the Facebook and Instagram videos of it. Yeah. Uh, it looked like it looked like Khabib out there and <laughs> Molly blocked him. It looked yeah. like he, he marked him. <laughs> he, up, he, he dropped yeah. him standing to stand up, right? Yeah, he did. He, did he dropped him yeah. standing up. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, wow, okay. <laughs> and, then he, and then he does what he does best and uh, he just... Uh, yeah, has made this little child basically. You know? <laughs> it's me resting my my me resting my my twelve year old nephew. Or something, right? You know, it'll look like it could be even Connor. It is. Yeah. Weird. Now, how would you have handled the fight in the, in the sense of you know everything that led up to it, the the disrespect of the family, the religion, and father, and everything like? How would you have handled dealing with all that stress and aggravation? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of the same way. There's uh, I'm I'm never I was never a big talker. I'm not a big talker. I refuse to ever be a big talker. Uh, that's that's not me. That's not who I am. But if you're going to disrespect me, if you're going to uh, take it too far, you can get ready for a fight. You can promote the fight. Hey, big fight coming up. It's going to be awesome. Yada, yada. You can sell the fight. Sure, no problem. When you take it too far, you make it personal. And, yeah. and you, you know, you, you, go the, you go that line. You want to go that route. Uh, I'm not going to be very nice either. Being a, prof I, being I, a professional you are, have you ever experienced that? Uh, I think I'm a pretty nice guy. So I actually have not had ever had a fighters talk bad about me or say anything bad or yeah. talk crap or do this or that. They they know me, they know I'm a nice guy. They know I, I go out there, I, I always perform, I always give my best performance. Crowd seems to love it, you know, so I, I don't think guys really need to talk crap to me. So yeah. I've, I've never had the experience that really. Okay, last but not least, what can we expect on Saturday night? Uh, Saturday night you can expect some fireworks. Uh, I, I need a finish, I need a knockout, I need a impressive performance. You're going to have uh, the perhaps greatest ever in, in Fader Emilienko going out there and doing his thing, my boy. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt Mee has me performing also. <laughs> I think Friday night, you know. Yeah, like, Friday night against Beta. Yeah, so it's just a, a great night of Belgian fights. A great weekend for Belgian fights. All right. Well, thanks for your time. We wish you luck on Saturday. Uh, cool, right? man. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right.